Hi, this is Lorraine, and I've been guided to share some messages with you. If you'll give me just a few minutes to clear center and balance my energy, we'll get started. Okay. So there are three main messages that have come through recently very strongly that I'm going to share. And I'm going to share them as they come in intuitively. So the first message I feel very strongly uh, that needs to be shared with you is the dragons. Um, whenever I close my eyes, almost every single time I close my eyes, I see the sky filled with dragons, like a flock of birds, but they're just not flying in a flock. They're flying, they're covering the sky. There is only the space between the dragons um, that where you can see the sky. It's um, an amazing sight. And uh, to me, the dragons represent fields of energy. And so the strong message is there are fields of energy around the planet protecting it. Profound protection for this world. And there will be no outside influences. That's a very strong message that's come through over the last, I think it's four years now, four and a half years maybe. This world is heavily fortified and protected but it did need to go through this process of change. But we are at a different place right now. This is the very strong message about the dragons and the fields of energy. Right now, we are moving through transcendence we are changing from the 3D to the 5D. And I always ask myself, well, what happened to the 4D, right? What, what's the 4D? And so the other day I was like sitting and I asked that question. The 4D is, the best way to put it, is like the Im imaginary wall, the reality, the difference between the realities. And the metaphor I'll give you is, if you've ever gone to a play, you have the people on the stage and they're living in their reality. But there's a fourth wall between the actors on the stage and the audience. And it is, you can't see it, but it's there, right? So the actors stay in their reality, portraying the play that they're portraying on stage and the audience stays in their reality observing the the play on the stage observing the reality that the actors are creating on stage and so that 4d is the wall between the realities okay it's perception 4d is perception 3d is this physical reality we are breaking through the 4d the perception of this 3d reality and moving to the 5D. Uh, uh, and I don't wanna say a higher level of consciousness. This is the conscious awareness that duality doesn't exist. It's a construct of this universe. And it's the first step in reconciling divinity from duality, light and dark, left and right, white and black, good and evil, from moving from that idea of separation back into uh, unity, okay? Reconciling unity, okay? The 5D is that first step. So right now, we are living, some of us are living in the 3D, some of us are living in the 5D. The dragons are creating profound protection of this world 
as we diverge from 3D to 5D because not everybody is moving from 3D to 5D, okay? And these are terms used in the esoteric community into this new age ideology, I guess. So I'm gonna use those because it's most readily accessible. But we are just shifting our understanding of ourselves and our re and as a result, our reality, okay? Who we are and what we're meant to do. And so the dragons create this field around our planet to protect us as we go from the 3D to the 5D. Right now we are observing a lot of stuff that's difficult to observe and to witness. People are suffering. People are struggling. And as we transition, or those of us living at a higher level of consciousness, this 5D reality, it's difficult to witness, but we understand that this is where some people still are in their conscious awareness of who they are themselves. They're still living in duality. They're still living in left and right, good and bad, light and darkness. And when you do that, you're still living from separation. And there's this push and pull of energy that happens and you start manifesting your fears because you're living from a fear-based reality. And when that happens, we start manifesting these weather phenomenon, hurricanes, typhoons, tornadoes, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, all these things are a physical manifestation of our fears, insecurities, and resistance to change, okay? That is being manifested from the individual still living in duality. From a, from a 5D perspective, we see and understand that. And we have all the compassion in the universe for what people are going through. But we cannot change somebody else's perception and we cannot change somebody else's reality. So we embrace them with love, compassion, healing energy, support as they move through their transition. But the biggest, it's not a challenge. I guess it is a challenge, but the biggest struggle that we have is observing and not being able to create change because those people have to change the way they perceive their reality in order to understand that duality doesn't exist and start moving towards reconciliation, moving towards unity. And I haven't done a video in a long time. The biggest struggle I've had is all the people I know who are not transcending, not being able to bring them with me. I've been trying so hard to awaken them, talk to them in a, not a direct way, um, through actions, through compassion and kindness, through support, without directly saying you should do this, but just by living my truth. But when people don't respond to that or can't respond to that, then you must allow them to go through their process, okay? I'm going to go to the next thing. Um, so right now we are living in the 3D. Some of us are living in the 3D. Some of us are living in the 5D. Those who are living in the 5D are protected from the discord that is occurring in the 3D. We have fields of energy around us that are protecting us from the lower let's just say from separation. Okay. Um, how did this message come in? I'm sorry. It was so clear when it came in. So within the fields of mother earth, there are 
two levels of consciousness that are existing, the 3D and the 5D. People who live in the 5D are vibrating at a higher level. Their energy field, their energy signature is different from someone living in the 3D. And therefore, although we are still living in the same space, and although we are able to witness what is happening on the 3D level, we are not subject to the events uh, and the discord that is happening at that 3D level. It's a very unique place to have two levels of consciousness, two vibrations existing on the same plane, the same planet. But that's where we are right now. Someone living at a 5D consciousness, if they allow themselves to be drawn back in the three, into the 3D, they become subject to that 3D level of consciousness, conscious awareness. So it's really important for us to keep this higher vibration, show compassion, love, patience, tolerance for those living at the 3D and most importantly we need most importantly we need to let them go because we are in this process of divergence this isn't not we're not being dispassionate we are not being cruel or calloused we are not shirking our responsibilities as loving beings in the universe by allowing people to choose their direction we support them with love, compassion, kindness, and tolerance. And we allow them to move on the path that they have chosen. And when you see people suffering and you see people struggling, I know it's hard to not get upset or to ask why or to want to reach out. But those events are happening because people have chosen a certain way of thinking, a certain mindset, mindset, a certain perception of reality. And they must go through their phase, their phases of change and awakening and awareness to move them to the, this higher level of consciousness or a higher level of awareness of a, or a more profound level of awareness. And we are not to judge them or condemn them for their choices. But we must remain true to ourselves. We must remain true to ourselves and our path and purpose. Because through our transcendence, our ascension, we are helping heal this world and the universe. Okay? Um, no energy that is not meant to be on this world will remain. And that's another message that's come through over the last four and a half years. Gladiolus and her people, those are the beings in the water, the raptors, surface humans. We are all meant to be within the field of Mother Earth. Our DNA and our energy signatures are encoded in such a way that we are identified by universal energy as being residents of this world. We are meant to be here. Any being in the universe that has come to this world and is living here, their DNA is not encoded. It doesn't matter how long they've been here. They were never meant to be on this world only the DNA matching that of Mother Earth, only the vibrations matching that of Mother Earth will remain. This is universal law. So over the last four and a half years, that message has gone out numerous times. Any beings who are not meant to be on this world must leave. Humanity is meant to remain on this world and we are meant to transcend and not only heal this world, our mother, but the universe. And we have a very specific trajectory and people incarnating, incarnating on this world 
have been doing so at great cost, expense, sacrifice, as well as education, as well as awareness. All the things we have been through on this world were for a purpose, and it was to bring us to this place of transcendence where we can acknowledge ourselves, the positive and the negative, release any energy that doesn't serve us, embolden ourselves by embodying the source energy, unconditional love, and driving forward. Anybody who is not meant to be on this world will, will leave this world. And I have to be honest, I don't know how that's going to happen. What the message that came through very, very clear, very, very strong. All humans, all surface humans on this world have been encoded their DNA and their energy field. The raptors and the beings in the water, their DNA has been encoded very clearly to be here on this world. Anybody else not meant to be here will be removed and I have no idea how that will happen. Anytime I've tried to speculate or tried to picture, it doesn't come through. I might get messages, but it never happens the way I think it's going to happen and I feel like it's because the energy on the planet is shifting so greatly that it's constantly changing. So there's no way to predict the future because it's not hasn't happened yet. Every choice we make on this world changes our future outcome. But one thing is clear is that um no energy not meant to be here. No beings not meant to be here will be allowed. And I'm sorry I got distracted because I remembered a vision I had. Um, I think it was last night or the night before. And normally source energy is a, people see it as a field, a consciousness, and it just exists. And we are like part of that field. But that is such a simple misunderstanding that energy came in very strongly and said clearly that we are allowed to create the realities that we are guided to that that we are we are allowed to create the realities as they come based on our experiences but there are certain outcomes that source energy is willing to happen. That's the best way I could put it. Let me see how, let me see if I can rephrase that. Um, let me give you a metaphor. Sometimes, like I have troubles, I love sweets. I love sweets, I can eat cookies and candy and chocolate I mean I do um, and sometimes I go overboard it's like one of my vices that I have to really keep in check um, and sometimes they go overboard and uh, I don't eat healthy right but then I keep myself in check and then I rein it in. I start running again or I run more or I exercise more or I cut the sweets out. I do stuff to change my behavior to get that behavior under control, right? And I succeed. There is a negative, underlying negative energy that's trying to remain in control of this world. Source energy embodies both love, goodness, and darkness love and hate, um, goodness and evil, right? Sometimes that negative energy within source energy kind of starts empowering itself. Just like I get hooked on sweets, it gets hooked on whatever this negativity is, right? But the source comes in and can, and can slap that energy back. It puts it in check and it drives forward with success, right? That, 
that's the what came in really strong that's the best way I can put it is like sh stating that in a metaphor it's like this source energy came in and said it's been this energy has been reaping havoc but it's going to stop right now and I'm taking control and making sure that this planet trans transcends the way it's meant to transcend the way it's meant to transcend thus these fields are being put up this as this divergence happens between the 3d and the 5d the the dna that's encoded within humanity and um the vet raptors and the beings in the water their energy fields are very specific and they match mother earth and the reason why we're going through this transition is so that all your vibrations can realign and move to the next level of consciousness any energy or DNA that has not been initially encoded the way the source intended it to be will be removed from this world because that energy is part of that source energy that field if you will so that field is removing that energy from this world it's cleansing and clearing it and it was very clear and it was very definitive it's like it was like mean mommy if I have to come in here and do something about this I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna do it I gave you the choice to make the changes you needed to make and you didn't do it so now I'm gonna come in and clear it for you and so it's creating a balance that allows the planet to change in a way that it's meant to change it allows those of us who have done the work to transcend and go to this other level of consciousness it allows the individuals who are still working at the low the 3d the lower level of consciousness living in duality to work towards um, achieving the goal of raising their consciousness and transcending to the 5d but that energy was extremely definitive it was extremely definitive I think that's it that was all that came in but the messages those three messages the dragons creating the field the 3d and the 5d energy um, being contained within the field of mother earth um, that divergence and then as well as the coding the DNA coding and the energetic coding of the beings on this world meant to transcend or meant to be here um, that's very clear um, very 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 clear and what I feel like and I'm not really sure but I feel like there'll be a 3d earth that remains and a 5d earth that's what's coming through um, possibly um, and I feel like that's a temporary that's why that those fields have been put up right now I'm channeling this um, why those fields have been put up is because there's going to be this as this divergence occurs there'll be um, a temporary 3d earth that exists but at some point the those individuals living at this 3d level of consciousness will transcend and move well they won't transcend they'll move to cepheus which i've said in past videos they'll move to cepheus but during this divergence they have to have a place to exist and so we'll coexist on earth within this field this heavily fortified field as divergence occurs and as this transition happens okay give me a second this is way longer than I expected it to be but um, give me a second to see if there's anything else no no nothing else all right that's it thank you